Global investors, they are cheering now U.S. Fed Reserve's yesterday's right interest rate hike. It is biggest interest rate hike in nearly three decades. This has U.S. Fed Reserve raised the key interest rates by 75 basis point or 0.75%. Asian stock markets began the day with a rally following aggressive drive to tame the surge. Wall Street closed sharply higher. Dollar re retreated from multi-year highs. With a 0.75% hike, benchmark short-term rate, it is now at a range of 1.5 to 1.75%. Hike affects many consumer and business loans. World's biggest economy is fighting a four-decade high inflation, with inflation having reached a four-decade high of 8.6%. Central Bank is ramping up its drive to slow growth. U.S. inflation has been worsened by Russia's war against Ukraine and its effects on energy crisis. Shortage of oil, gasoline and food are propelling inflation worldwide. The U.S. Central Bank is under intense pressure now to curb soaring gas and food prices. Decision to impose rate hike as large as this is an acknowledgement that Fed is struggling now to curb pace and persistence of inflation. Listen in to Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell on this. Clearly, today's 75 basis point increase is an unusually large one, and I do not expect moves of this size to be common. From the perspective of today, either a 50 basis point or a 75 basis point increase seems most likely at our next meeting. We will, however, make our decisions meeting by meeting, and will continue to, to communicate our thinking as clearly as we can. Our overarching focus is using our tools to bring inflation back down to our 2% goal and to keep longer-term inflation expectations well anchored. The U.S. Central Bank has flagged more rate hikes. The benchmark interest rate could see another 0.575 percentage hike in July. Officials projected the rate would increase to 3.4% by end of this year and to 3.8% in 23. U.S. Central Bank chair stressed that they are determined to slow inflation, but not by degrading American economy. We have both the tools we need and the resolve that it will take to restore price stability on behalf of American families and businesses. We're not trying to reduce induce a recession now. Let's be clear about that. We're trying to achieve 2% uh, inflation consistent with a strong labor market. That's, that's what we're trying to do. From the perspective of today, either a 50 basis point or a 75 basis point increase seems most likely at our next meeting. A downgrade now to Fed's economic outlook accompanied the tightening of monetary policy. U.S. Central Bank has projected a slowing economy and rising unemployment in months to come. U.S. economy is seen slowing to 1.7% rate of growth this year. The forecast was at 2.8% earlier. Unemployment is now projected to rise to 3.7% by end of year and continuing to rise to 4.1% through 2024. And our correspondent Susan Tehrani has sent us this report from New York on the tightening monetary policy. Listen in. In a bid to stop a runaway train to a possible recession, the Fed approved its largest interest rate hike in almost 40 years as it races to slow the economy with an inflation at a 40-year high. The Fed wants to cool off the labor market without increasing unemployment, something economists say is easier said than done. However, Fed Chair Jerome Powell is optimistic, saying it's possible in a post-pandemic economy. Here in the United States, today's news means anyone who has a home mortgage, a car payment, or even a credit card will be affected. The news also comes at a time when Americans are reacting in poll after poll, saying that inflation is affecting their lives at the grocery store, at the pump, and regarding basic kitchen table items as they cut back on more discretionary spendings. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On, World is One. We on now available in your country. Download the app and get all the news on the move.